Hey, welcome back to the C Sharp tutorials we're working on right now. We are in the middle of a recursion unit and we're about ready to code the second example. As you can see on the screen, we're going to be doing something with a math formula called factorial. So just a quick review of what factorial is, you can see the example. So if you wanted to do the factorial of 5, you would say take the number 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and your result is 120. So if you were to look in your calculator, you can also see that there is a factorial button somewhere on the screen. So in my case, I am working with the uh, scientific notation version, with a scientific calculator. So if I type in a number like 11, and I push the X exclamation mark, I get 11 factorial. So you can see they get very large, very fast. So 20 factorial uh, gets me into scientific notation. Uh, so it's really quite, it gets away from me really quickly. So what, how are we going to do this calculation in a program? We are going to use a recursive thinking solution. We could use a standard for loop, as any solution would work, but where our purpose here is to demonstrate um, recursion. So here's how recursion is going to uh, calculate this. So let's take the example of 4 factorial. We're going to take 4 and multiply it by 3 factorial. Well, then 3 factorial is recalculated as 3, calcul uh, three times uh, 2 factorial. And the parentheses keep getting deeper. So 2 times 1 factorial, which eventually we find that 1 is a base case, or it's all essentially the base case. 0 is actually the base case. So then we uh, unwrap the uh, parentheses, and we get 4 times 3 times 2, and 24. So I've got some code here that I'm going to base this tutorial on. All right, so I'm in uh, Visual Studio again, and let's start a new project. This is going to be a console app, and I'm just going to name it something like Factorial, so I'll call it Fact. So I'm going to print out a console message to the user. I'll say, please enter an integer. I will calculate the factorial and show you my thought process. So the first thing we need to do is fetch a starting number. So I'll use the integer parse function to get an integer from the read line. So once more, I'm going to print off the function and its value. So factorial is the function that doesn't exist yet. So we get an underlying error, but we will pass it the starting number. Lastly, to pause the program, I'm going to put in a console read line. All right, after the uh, function main is done at the end of the curly bracket, we'll start the factorial function. So we will define factorial as to return an integer. So I want to update the user on the uh, process of my thinking, so I will print some things while I'm doing the calculations. The first thing I'll print is what x is equal to currently. So the first case is if x is 1, then I will return 1. Technically, if x is 0 is the real base case, but the uh, effect is the same either way. So here is the function as the base case is done. Now we're going to have all other cases. So the math says take x times the factorial of the next smaller number. So that would be x minus 1. Okay, so now I'm going to print out another status update. So I will say calculating the factorial 4, and then I will print the integer x. And then uh, this is a little tricky here, so watch the quotation marks. But I also put in times factorial, and then parentheses, and then the number x minus 1 inside of it. So this should give us an update of the uh, factorial as it's being calculated. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to try a 7 to start with. And you can see that the uh, number is being calculated recursively. So the 7 is the first iteration, and it says I'm going to take 7 and do the uh, product of 7 times factorial 6. And that works all the way down to the end until we get a result of 5,040. Try it with several numbers to make sure that it's working. So the factorial of 5 is a result is 120. So if I were to look up the reference for using some very long numbers, it looks to me like uh, the long uh, data type would be appropriate here. So maybe we should switch our program from int to long. Okay, so I'm going to return a long instead of the uh, integer and see if we can get really big numbers. So let's try 25 factorial. Yeah, and it seems to be working now. So 
we don't have any uh, overflows of the values. So there is another example of using recursion. So we could have also built this using a regular for loop, but this is an example of a recursive solution.